Okay, guy is back into that hole over there. I don't know what are we doing here in this residential area. Well, actually, these are some uh, these are some uh, office buildings. But you see that crane in the back there? That's where my turn is after that guy. And I ask him what what he's picking up. He says uh, some uh, kind of a gen set, gen set. And I'm picking up a fuel tank. So last time you saw me, I uh, I delivered I delivered uh, that excavator right in uh, Wisconsin. And then, as they call it, I bounced. I bounced to this Dallas airport area. I like that expression, bounced. You know, it's like you went around the corner where in fact it was 849 miles. But there was nothing there. And Monday is a holiday in Canada. I think it's Victoria Day. I'm not an expert on these holidays. But, um, but I saw this listing before, but it was super cheap. And I was laughing at the guy because the permits will pretty much eat most of what he was offering. I said, are you aware of what the permits will cost? Oh, and he said it's uh, 500 miles. Oh, it's only 500 miles. I said, really? Are you familiar with the bridges in this area? Because it goes to uh, east of Toronto. And of course, if you look on Google Maps, it's really 500 miles if you go straight up north. Uh, but that means that you go through Alexandria, you know, Alexandria Bay Bridge, 1000 Islands. And I know for a fact, because I, I dealt with that one before, it only supports either 130 or 132,000 gross. Uh, like it has a limit on the gross weight and this thing I'm picking up is 90,000 pounds or they say 88 and so with my empty weight of 60 that's you know getting up there and so I told the guy I said and so now that guy yeah, I didn't want to pay so now I'm talking to this new guy the new this new company listed this but I see the same the same origin same destination it says fuel tank so same stuff, same weight. Um, and um, but at least he gave me a reasonable price. When he negotiated a little bit, like I just added a little bit from what he was asking, because I know that permits are very expensive. You know, for this kind of thing. And I talked to this guy. I said so. Basically, this load. You see, that helps when you know the area when you're local, right? Like if this was somebody, you know, I don't know, from Michigan or Utah or something, they probably would, would not know the limitations and then they would take that load for cheap, thinking that, yeah, it's only 500 miles. And after loading, they would realize their mistake. And so now I, I know that I said it's not 500, it's 700 miles, which is not a very big difference, but it is almost... 50% almost 50% longer than what the broker implies right and so basically I said you have to go either through Montreal because it's a land crossing there's no bridges there or you have to go through Buffalo or Niagara Falls and if you go like that Buffalo is the shortest way and then you go through Ontario so it's uh, 700 miles but the good news is that I only need uh, uh, a few permits not like 10 permits you know like when you go somewhere like Idaho crazy like loads like this you gotta do you know like I say heavy short distance HSD so this is one of those my favorite type okay here's my load see the guys are working on the top they're cutting uh, they're cutting the uh, some pipes were too tall and there was no other way to put it except like this it has this thing so we just put it down looks like an old military trailer 
and then the rear I just put some uh, rubbers in there and I made sure we put it over here where my frame is reinforced but of course it's a, it's a lot of weight on one small spot but that's what you gotta do sometimes you know It's a 10,000 gallon tank and what's funny about this one is that it has no eyes it's basically it's a metal box covered in concrete so no eyes anywhere and when they lift it the crane just puts their straps under it and that's the only way to tie it down is to get all this on the top and hook them up together and hopefully I have enough because this is about 90,000 pounds and this guy also he watches my channel so he has a similar one he has a cool looking cool looking truck with a bike in the back there yeah you see all those things that's what they cut off on mine because the top was uh, over 14 feet tall the chains are up. I'm putting my guys now. Yeah, you go ahead. You're good, right? Yeah, yeah. Once you're finished trapping, you're gone. Yeah. I'm gonna park here. The other guy said I can I can wait here till 10. I'll until wait. What? 10 o'clock. I'll wait till 10. You're gonna wait until 10 p.m.? 10, yeah. I'll park over. You guys are gone, right? You're about to leave. Yeah, I'll go park in there and wait till 10. No, the other guy said it was okay. Who's the other guy? A guy in uh in the jeans and the fancy golf shirt. He's like I think he's like civilian boss or something. That's the luxury of of this sleeper. See this? I can do it like this. <laughs> and I can I just wanted to show you guys that's what that's the real heavy hole. So this guy has a super comfortable just traxel truck, right? Western star with a super big sleeper and air conditioning satellite dish on the top 
and then this is a XL XL extendable right on his neck so I can see that he has a uh, yeah, pretty long flip box so pretty long neck and it's XL80 Jeep extendable trailer and he has small wheels in the back and then you have a tandem uh, booster so five seven ten axles I, uh, I keep thinking if I need a Jeep and Stinger because I'll be sitting like this guy you know forever well as long as it pays good then you can wait but you know so you want to be specialized because then your rates are higher than if you're just an average Joe with a 35 ton uh, double drop or a worse drive and trailer but they don't want to be too specialized right anyway I wanted to uh, thank uh, one of my fans uh, Ben Ben from Virginia he picked up the same tank like identical to mine and he lives in Virginia and he's originally from Ukraine but I'm always envious of kids that are brought to US at little age because this guy he speaks some English like I would never guess that he his roots were you know from Ukraine and he said he was uh, 12 years old when they brought him here so like <laughs> and you know for me it took I don't know four or five hours a day for like super intensive maybe two years and I read a bunch of I, I read thousands of books you know just to enrich my vocabulary like you know mostly like thrillers whodunits you know spy novels that's what helps you learn you know the English the language itself all these idioms you know but this guy because he was a kid they just absorb absorb all this foreign culture you know phonetics pronunciation you know, it comes comes easy it's like learning uh, you know because he already spoke Ukrainian right so and so he had to learn from zero at age 12 and I'm not sure how old he is now but I look at him as I, I said I thought you were like a typical Philly guy or New Jersey guy but he's from VA anyway want to thank uh, this guy Ben one of my subscribers and he's poor he's uh, he has a small trucking company and he's uh, one of his trailers is uh, 55 ton and he's driving it occasionally himself like pulling these heavy loads and he has a couple of driving guys working for him you know, very cool guy so he took he called the uber and we went to um, crack a barrel nearby had some nice lunch I drank bunch of water I was so thirsty from working in this heat and then on the way back I said can we please stop at the gas station and I got that so now I have a gallon of water still ice cold I'm in heaven so that's it and then we'll continue because this might take a while to get this to Canada because of all the regulations so thanks for watching stay cool Captain Sergei out